It's been a real challenge to get ahead of this wildfire season. We see huge improvements in Nova Scotia and then Ontario and Quebec. Look at a dire situation. The situation improves in Ontario and Quebec, and now the focus is back into BC and Alberta. Your full national fire update, it starts right here. Meteorologist Tyler Hamilton is joining us today. And Tyler, I just want to show the audience this to put things into perspective. This is how much land has been burned so far this season in Canada. 4.5 million hectares. On average, for the entire summer, we usually look at about 2.1 million. So we've already doubled that, and it's only 10 days into June. And yeah, Rachel, the season doesn't normally peak in British Columbia until July and August. Parts of Ontario and Quebec still have a long wildfire season to go. But let's just start with a national approach here and take a look at the rainfall outlook. We need soaking rains days after day. The soil is so hard and dry, it's really compromised to absorb much moisture across a lot of Western Canada, Rachel. Now we are going to get that moisture within Ontario and Quebec, and we've already seen it bring huge improvements into places like Ottawa. I wanna show everyone what Ottawa, the nation's capital, was looking like this week. The visibility is much better now. Thank goodness for that. The air quality statements have dropped, and I think many people are, are really, literally breathing a sigh of relief. But you can see here all of the smoke that traveled from the Quebec wildfires into the nation's capital, into places like Kingston and Toronto, even down into New York City. So Tyler, let's talk about the weather pattern that is cleansing the atmosphere, literally cleaning the air. Well, it was like a dense fog, Rachel. We had flight delays down as far south as LaGuardia because of the smoke. Now this is a big improvement. We have a westerly flow and all those fire zones in Quebec that's blowing the smoke north and east. And this is some pretty significant rainfall that wants to push in Sunday and Monday. You know that blocking pattern we've had in the atmosphere over the past week. You might have heard the Omega block. Well, a stalled pattern is going to develop into next week, Rachel. Rounds and rounds of rain, particularly targeting eastern Ontario, northeastern Ontario, and even southern Quebec. This is going to be really beneficial in terms of the wildfire activity. Now, rounds and rounds of rain, that was the story across Nova Scotia, and I am happy to say there are no longer any fires in Nova Scotia that are out of control. What happened this week was pretty remarkable. Thousands of people were able to return home, but Tyler, looking at scenes like this, it really is just heartbreaking. Of course, Canadians are hoping for the best, but returning to their property and seeing something like this, it's just... It puts it into perspective how devastating a wildfire season could be. So thank goodness this rain came really at a good time. It's stomach churning to see those scenes and to know people's lives have been so upended. It has been cold and wet over the past week. That pattern will eventually change over Atlantic Canada. You get a bit of a break Monday and Tuesday. But out west, we are far from a break as of yet. Absolutely. The latest evacuation comes to us from Tumbler Ridge in British Columbia. This is within the northeast of BC. And Tyler, when we look at this fire, there are so many characteristics here that are showing us that this is really out of control. What we're looking at from that aerial footage, that's a firestorm, Rachel. That is as extreme as it gets. So let's go back here and take a look at the rank category. This is how firefighters classify fire behavior. This is top of the charts, rank six activity, really uncontrollable. And in fact, sometimes the best tactics for crews stand down and let the weather change to improve the situation. All right, here is a look at some of the reasons why we've seen such intense wildfires within BC. And remember, as Tyler mentioned, June is usually when this peaks. The snowpack was so little over this winter that unfortunately we could see a dire season ahead. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us on the Weather Network today.